All right, so I just wanted to show you Microsoft Office Teams. This was something new for me because I wasn't using, uh, wasn't used to using Microsoft Office 365. I was used to Google Classroom, and Microsoft Teams kind of reminds me of Google Classroom. It just kind of looks different, and I mean it has similar features and some different things about it. Um, but this is my previous classroom that I had, and I was used to having my archive classrooms. And here's all my previous um, lessons that I'd saved. Um, so if I switch over I just logged in to my Microsoft 365 and then in the corner you usually see these dots right here um, you just click on teams and then when it um, reflect refreshes this will pop up right here and then I would click on teams and then here are my different classes here and so I'm gonna create a team or classroom and I just click that hit create team I get the option of these different types. I'm doing it for teachers and students, so I would do classes. I'm going to call this test group. I could give it a description um, and hit next. I can also add students as I need to. Um, you can add other co-teachers as well. Um, so that just gives you different administrative um, permissions. I'm just going to skip this. OK, so here's the thing. Um, Whenever you start one of these, you I believe I have to go to class notebook. And then you have to set up a one note class notebook. Okay, if you don't do this, this is what I found. Um, it's kind of quirky. Um, you cannot start, and it gives you like these default things that you can kind of separate, um, categorize things by for every student, quizzes, homework, classwork, and that makes pretty much sense, and then you hit create. If you don't do this step, you won't be able to repost assignments that you've already created, because that was kind of frustrating. I didn't realize that, because I just started making my assignments, and I created them, and then I was like, it wouldn't allow me to repost them in other um, groups, because a lot of teachers, especially when you're an elective teacher, like I teach animation, game design, I teach graphic design, photography, and so with that, like I teach multiple sections of that particular subject content area, so I really want to be able to reuse assignments and then post them again across different classrooms, okay? So now I have this set up, and that's great. Now I'm going to go to assignments. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how do you create an assignment.